Hello everybody, Charlie here, and I wanted to let you in on just a little secret. Your favorite upgrade heroes are back, and this time they've brought their cars with them to Mexico. That's right, Donut Media returns to Forza Horizon 5 in the Upgrade Heroes series update. But I guess you want to learn them a little bit more, right? Of course you do. You've got to tune into the next Forza Monthly, and I will see you there. That's right, guys. In the most recent Forza Monthly live stream, where they showed us more information on Forza Motorsport, they also gave us a little bit of a teaser at Series 22. Two, Donut Media Part 2 update that's coming out next week. The full reveal for this update is on Monday next week, so we've only got a bit of a preview and teaser today, but we have some gameplay of a new story, a new car, and a bunch of other bits as well. So let's have a look at what's coming next week. Now we got to see a bit of the festival playlist, more specifically this screen here. We can see that for 80 points we can get the Pagani Huayra BC and then for 160 points, the first and only new car that we know of today, the Nissan Z but it is the Chris Forsberg Formula Drift Nissan Z. Very cool. This Nissan Z has 1,300 horsepower and it has the R35 engine from the Nissan GTR. And it has the 3.8 litre twin turbo V6 engine from the R35 Nissan GTR. So that's gonna be a cool car. There are more cars coming in this update, but this is the only one we've been shown so far. So it's kind of cool. Bit of gameplay of it driving around now. Now, when this reveal live stream happened, Forza Horizon on Twitter posted this right here, the sort of we're live now. Now, if you look at the car in the background, that is another Donut Media car that we are probably going to be getting. It is the Nissan Silvia S14 with the Donut Media wrap on it. We can see real life photos of it here. So, I mean, it's pretty safe to presume we're going to be getting this within the update somewhere as well because it was shown in this screenshot. So what else have we seen? Well, the Upgrade Heroes update, the Donut Media Part 2, is all evolving around a new Horizon story, just like Part 1. However, this Horizon story all evolves around the high-low cars that Donut Media you know, the Donut Media High Low series. If you don't know what that is, it's where they pick a car, for example, the 350Z, and they upgrade it in two different ways. A low way, where they buy cheap upgrades, and a high way, where they buy expensive upgrades and see how they compare. That's the basics of it. So the New Horizon story, which I do have gameplay of on screen, all evolves around that. And the first chapter, which is the only one I've got gameplay of, is the 350Z. Now it sort of introduces you. I will play it on screen now. No way! You brought Hilo to Mexico. Technically, I brought High Car because I thought someone else could break it for a change. And I brought Low Car because it's the only one in our parking lot that's running right now. Then I brought Zach Job because he's my super cool and handy road trip buddy. Also, I'm the professional and better driver than James. I came to check out the Horizon car scene. I've been trying to get to the Horizon Festival forever. I came because I was hungry. Wait, if we're all here, who's watching the shop? My dog's got it. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. If you are enjoying this video, guys, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any Horizon 5 or motorsport-related news, content leaks, all that jazz. I'd appreciate it. What's interesting, though, is in the, the first part of the story, at least, this might change, I'm not sure, we don't get to drive the high 350Z or the low 350Z. We get given a stock 350Z and have to race against the high and the low. And listen to this dialogue. We're always debating between high and low car, right? What's better, cheap and charming or top of the line? What if there was a third option? Some kind of middle car. The coming of mid car has been spoken of in legend. Ah, I think I see where you're going with this. So it talks about making a middle car, which at first seemed quite intriguing, but as the dialogue goes on, they seem to hint at picking a team. So picking high car or picking low car. And it seemed we're not exactly sure where the story is going to lead and how it's going to work, but maybe we start out with our own middle 350Z and we have to pick to upgrade it to a high car, pick to upgrade it to a low car and try to compete against them. Again, we'll see how it pans out. But for the time being, we've not had any glimpse of being able to drive the donut media high and low cars that we know from the channel which is a bit of a shame. It seems like we're making our own and just going along with the concept. So yeah, and as you may remember from the Donut Media tease that we were given by themselves, we were told we'd get to drive the money pit cars and the high trucks and low trucks as well. Um, you can drive high car, low car, the money pit cars, 
uh, high truck, low truck, all of our stuff. Not seen any evidence of that just yet, but again, this is just the first chapter, so things could change. We'll have to wait and see. But what does worry me is the Horizon story is called Donut Media High Low. So I don't see where the high trucks are going to equate into that and the money pit cars, but we'll have to wait and see. I'm going to roll the rest of the story chapter now. Way to handle the fair lady. You're going to fit right in on low team. High team. Low team. So again, this is just a preview. We will see what it's like on Monday. I hope we get to drive the high and the low cars. I hope it's not just upgrading stock cars because that's really sort of misled a lot of people. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more to it and there's more cars as well. Now in terms of teasers for the update, that's everything we got in the live stream. We do know of more things coming, like the splash screen says new rims and in the previous update, new rims were found in the files, sort of leaked. So it's probably safe to presume that there's a high chance some of these rims are coming in this update. So that's good cool, cool to look forward to. We'll have to wait and see for the rest. So fun fact, a photo of both of the high and low 350Zs was actually sort of leaked or accidentally posted a screenshot of early over on the French Forza Horizon 5 Twitter page before the Forza monthly live stream, which I thought was quite funny. So if you're following all of the different languages for Forza Horizon 5 on Twitter, you might get a sneak peek at some screenshots of some cars early, just like we did today with this one. What else has happened in the Horizon 5 community? We like to talk about it all. Obviously, we had the tweet teasing the update. That's not important. Forza Mode Sport is now available to pre-order, as you're probably aware. And I want to touch on something just very quickly that I found on GT Planet, credit to this guy. He found a tweet from Wushu Studios. Now, Wushu Studios tweeted out saying that they were thrilled to share that they were working alongside Playground Games in introducing the new features that came in Explore the Horizon update. Now, that was very interesting. I wasn't really aware that Playground Games worked with other studios and other companies on updates. Now, I can only really think of this, but a good thing that Playground Games are getting other studios involved. They're getting help from other places. Wushu Studios is just another AAA title studio. This could mean several things. This could just be them delegating work onto other studios so Playground Games can crack on with more important work, such as Horizon 6, maybe. I don't know, but I just thought it was cool to see that other studios help Horizon 5, help Playground Games with these updates. What's more to come? I'm sure nothing but good. That is everything we had to talk about today, guys. We've seen the Donut Media preview. We get to hear everything about it on Monday. I will see you all there. Make sure to keep an eye out for my video. I'll see you all later.